Streaming live on whitradio.org from High Tech High School in North Bergen, New Jersey. It's the Carlos Acosta Show. I'm your announcer, Muhammad, and now your host, Crazy Carlos. Wait, hold on. Are we serious right now? There was no energy no in that introduction. Bashing. Absolutely no. You, you looked like we had to drag you out of bed to be here. Hello, this is the Wake Up High Tech Show. No bashing. Your host is Crazy Carlos. I'm your announcer. If you have that kind of passion Muhammad, for college, you're going to flunk. Muhammad the Magnet. Uh, this is hopefully going to be a good show. Now you're a host. That That's the a, way you said it. That was it. a spot on impression, Sam. Oh, my God. I'm disappointed. I'm thoroughly disappointed. We'll have to work on that. For oh a first God. time, for a first time, it wasn't that bad. It was terrible. I'll, I'll it work was on horrendous. it for next time. It was awful. It for next time. The only good thing about it is that it can't get any worse. <laughs> Watch the, all right, watch the outro. All right, just go on with your topics for now, Chess. All right, well, good morning. I'm your host, Crazy Carlos, and joining us right now is Richie, who is very, very, very late to Woo! school. That's the energy I like. Oh, that's right, Richie and Sam the man. We got a lot of energy. I'm like, Mom, you already know what's up. Work late. What's good? Wake up late. You know what's up. I'm in here. I got Woo! the energy. What are we doing today? We're doing power. a video game show. <gasps> a lot of news this week. Oh. First off, uh, so uh, two big releases this week. We got Final Fantasy Type Zero, which comes bundled well, with the Final, Final Fantasy. Fan- yeah, it's it's a. I'll get that in a second. And it comes bundled with Final Fantasy 15 Episode Dunske, which is like a, a, a demo of the new game. And one the uh, game uh, I picked up this week, Battle for the Hardline. Chaz, so, what was the name of the game again? <laughs> Final Fantasy Type Zero. Uh, Chaz, they just uh, picked it up like two weeks ago. Hardline. Yeah. Oh, get with last week. I'm sorry. He's lying, folks. So, the big releases last week, which I was supposed to do a show on Monday, but, you know, Mr. DePiro wasn't uh, in school. Uh, but anyway, uh, so Type Zero, it's a re release of a PSP game that got, that it never made it to America. And I, I want to pick it up. It looks awesome. It's like a 40 hour game. So, the game I play, well, I'm just going to do a quick review on, is Battle for the Hardline. Now, this game has been getting mixed reviews and I can see why I didn't play Battlefield 4 because the t- servers were horrendous and I was like, it's not worth playing at this point. Yeah, I've never played it either. So it was so Battlefield Hardline. The way it's set up campaign wise, it's a cop show. It's like Miami Vice. Like it knows what it is. And the one thing I like is that when you're um, like the, there's no mission. There are episodes. So after you finish an episode, it's like it, it looks like Netflix. It's like uh, next episode loads in 30 seconds. The play icons there. It tells you the description. It's like Netflix. It's cool. The one thing I like is that. You can you can beat this. Oh look, it's Sam. I'm just gonna pick Sam's nose. This is why we don't have Mo do these things. Yeah, this is exactly why. Cause first he gives us terrible energy, terrible, awful energy awful. in the intro. Awful. That's supposed to be the show. That's supposed to be the thing that. I guaranteed you, Mo walked into class today and he was like, "I don't want to be on the show. I'm too lazy." No, no, he's that's like, I'm too not tired. what happened. He's like, I'm gonna screw up the show. What? You know what? I hate video like, games. Like you always find the way to mess things up. The intro you is, and, and you always do. Guys, the, guys, the, the intro is. Even so though our fans would love to hear a show about Muhammad. No, no, no. This they would. Let me, let me rant Final about Sam, Final Sam, Final Sam. Let me rant about this real quick. The intro is one of the most crucial parts of the show. It is what sets the tone for the entire show. And you completely dropped the ball when you said, Hello and welcome wait, to the Wake Up High Tech. I just Mo, noticed there's a Mo, home sheet in the door. Mo, I have That's something awesome. to say. Sam works out at night, I work wakes out at up night. early, is ready. Chaz games are late, wakes up early. Is ready. What I got. Do you do? I work late. I wake up late, but I'm here. <laughs> I got. I got my blood taken yesterday. The doctor was like, "Don't go to baseball practice." What I do? He I went to baseball practice. practice. I went. Do I listen to a doctor? No. Letter of the day is B, as in beast. <laughs> anyway, anyway, back to battle for the hard line. So the one thing I like about this game is that you can play the game for the most part without killing anybody because you know cops you can't kill anybody. this game can give cops a terrible name don't get me yeah. wrong like i've killed so many people in this game but yeah. you can either use a taser to take them down or physically arrest them which is, uh, is weird in a second which i'll get back I'll get back to that so the game actually rewards you by leveling up in the campaign by arresting people not killing anybody but it's kind of counterintuitive because you unlock guns to kill people by doing that so you're encouraged to not kill people, to unlock these cool weapons, to kill people. It's, it doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. And the campaign, very, very, very cliche. There are a few awesome set pieces, but 
reviewers like Angry Joe are complaining that it's trying to be too much like Call of Duty, getting these insane set pieces, but I like it. From what it sounds like, and from what I've heard, it has no direction. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it has, like, you know, like games usually yeah, have an identity. I could, yeah. It usually have an identity, like, you know, Halo's that slow shooter. But like you know, slow. Like this, it doesn't sound like it has an identity, especially with what you it's said. Like, it's like I think that's what kind of like we're moving to in the gaming world in general, because a game that is like you know, that is more and more like real life, and in a way like real life doesn't have a set direction. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like I think sooner or later we're gonna get to a game that encompasses everything that has to do with reality, and in that way, okay. like we're gonna be able to you know you could do any like aspect. Sims. Maybe like a Sims game? No, no, game? no. None. Further than Sims, because like if you want to join the military, that'll be like the Call of Duty style of it. If you want to play sports, that'll be like the, the sports Matt, game. Yeah. Well, it'll, 2K... It'll combine like all the games together. 2K15 was the first time that a my player, you really... You could do so many things. Well, you, you, you had pick, rivalries. You, Sean, yeah. you, had a, you had so many things you could do. You had like I scenarios in between games. I should get 2K. I'm, I'm waiting for 2K16. Oh, you didn't get 15? I never got 15. Cause I so didn't get the you, so cause 15 I didn't, servers are trash. I didn't, I didn't want I didn't want to uh, waste my time getting 15 when I didn't have the one yet. So, get the so one. when we get the one at Rutgers. We get 16. Did you register? Did you register? Oh, I'm going to have to remind you. I'm really going to have to. So campaign, like, I thought was a blast. It was 6 to 10 hours, kind of short. It's a little late, collectibles it's here late. and there. It's too late, Mo. Mo. Mo, man. Mo, you're really off the ball. You're really just, you know... You're really not doing it. Honestly, I really Mo, you're more valuable when you're away from the, from the studio. When you're away from the school. Your when, trade value goes when up. When you're away from America. <laughs> so, multiplayer, which is the big, I guess, like, I guess the big attraction of Battlefield. I'm impressed. People are saying it's just Battlefield 4 rehashed, and I can see that. Yeah, it's just cops and robber skins, but there are some good modes. Like, Battlefield, you know, Call of Duty's nomination, Battlefield has Conquest. And they have a new version of Conquest called Hotwire, where instead of going two points and holding points down, you get in a car, and the cars are the points you gotta drive around and hold the points. That sounds cool. And like it's crazy because like people. So have, the longer you hold the car, it's like it's the yeah, same. Okay. Yeah, and it's crazy because people have rocket launchers, or uh, grenade launchers, grenades and stuff like, and it's it turns like. It turns from an orderly game one second to a mess. There's choppers flying, shooting cars. Like I personally spent maybe ten hours in the game mode alone, mm. and it is the best way to play. And the way you buy things, you have to number one rank up to get kills with weapons, and three you have to save cash because you get cash for doing things in the game. I okay. like that because it makes you work hard for it. There isn't much to unlock now because like they made it more balanced, but you work hard for what you unlock. So the multiplayer, so far no launch issues like Battlefield 4. Everything's stable. The game kind of looks like crap on consoles because it's on like 720p on Xbox One and 990p on PS4, which is ridiculous. It should be like 990 all around, at least 1080p. I don't know why it's so underpowered. Yeah. This, but on the PC, you know, no problems. It's also it's also a confusing considering how much detail Battlefield usually goes into. Yeah, like with all with just details of the game. I'm telling you, Battlefield Three, especially on Battlefield looks Four. Battlefield 4 was a real disappointment with all the the, 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 server sh issues, the trouble yeah. issues and the server issues because the trouble issues. <laughs> yeah, sorry fans. Um, because I've never seen a shooter. I've never seen a lot of games in general mm -hmm. go into that much detail. When you had, you had buildings like getting hit from rock, if you got hit, if you had a building with enough rock launchers, you can tear it down. Oh yeah, in this game, I, it's I, hard to I do. think nobody's ever seen that happen in a multiplayer. Well, I have a question: Is this game? Uh, open world? No, because that's it, one like, thing I, I complain about. Because it, it, it seemed like in some missions like, there, are open, there are open world elements, but it's very linear. Linear, I should say. Because oh. the way you guys are just describing it, I'm like, this sounds sort the of the multiplayer like is like a big world. open battlefield. Like, what I'm saying is, in the multiplayer, it's like open had, world a little bit. You had a lot of details, like you you'd shoot a rocket launcher and it would literally tear th things down. Like, Take a wall like, down. It's the first time we really ever see that issue. And, and in Battlefield 3, my first game playing, like, I never knew anything about Battlefield. Battlefield someone 3 someone was a good game. shot a tank out of house, the thing collapsed on me. Battlefield 3 me. was a good game for its time. Yeah, it's, it still is. I mean, no one still plays is. anymore, but it's, it's, a, it's a great game. Still a great game. So I, my review of Battlefield Hardline is if, if you didn't play 4, pick it up full price. I think it's fine. Even if you did play 4, Pick it up. It's it's something new, especially if you have these new consoles, because there is absolutely nothing to play. Like like seriously, like it's the past few months we've seen only a few retail releases, including like what uh, Dying Light, Evolve, Final Fantasy, this Universe. and Dragon Ball. It's been five games in the past few months, and that may seem like a lot, but in reality, it's not. Especially because usually people are picky about their games, so yeah, this is very small. I'm, I'm I'm very picky for the most part. So it's some news. There's a rumor from, I think it was Amazon France that had this listing 
of the Batman Arkham Collection for next gen. So Arkham City and Arkham Asylum, which is weird. I would rather have them delay Arkham Knight and put that out first for people as a refresher. I, mean, I could see why they wouldn't do it. So what I'm going to do is, since I didn't play Arkham City, I'm going to not pick up Arkham Knight at launch. And just wait until Arkham Collection comes out and then pick up Arkham Knight for like 40 bucks or something like that. Okay. That way I get all the games for like 100 bucks. So that, yeah. That's fine. And then rumors of a new... This year's just the year of music games. So Rock Band's been confirmed. And it's probably going to have an E3 debut. But now a German, I think, uh, game outlet thing said that they're being invited for the unveiling of the next Guitar Hero. Which is kind of weird and bad at the same time. Think about it. Guitar Hero and Rock Band come back in the same year. Like, yeah, it's annoying. That was the problem with the last generation. There was too many music games. Yeah. And the fact that there's two giants. and It, I, it, was, it was really like you had to pick between the two. See, what I'm going to do this generation is I love Rock Band. Like, I love the vibe of it. But their instruments are garbage. They're like toys. Guitar Hero always had the better instruments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shell out the money for the Guitar Hero bundle. And then just buy the rock band either digitally or on disc because I'm not buying two sets of instruments. Yeah. There's no need to yeah. buy two sets of instruments. So it's also, yeah, no way. It's, and like, my fear is that Activision, they released five hero games in one year. It was like Band Hero, DJ I Hero 2, that. Rock, Guitar oh Warriors of Rock, Guitar Hero, that. Van Halen, something else. Yeah. Five in one you year. You know what? I didn't really, really like the picks of the bands that they chose. The and best the one, around, like, the best one was Metallica. Arrow, like, Aerosmith and Metallica, like, I don't know. Like, Guitar I, Metallica was good. That, that was awesome. But they could have picked better bands. More, yeah. More legendary bands. Like, how do you pick Metallica or Aerosmith over, like, Pink Floyd or, like, Zeppelin or something like the that? The thing is that Zeppelin, it's it's Jimmy Page at this point, and he refuses to license his music. The iTunes thing was a big thing for him, and he has not done it ever since. Like, he's very stubborn on it. And I hope for Rock Band Guitar they put Zeppelin in it, because they should. Yeah. But, like, I mean, that'd be great for like guitar. I mean, oh yeah, that's dude, awesome. are you kidding me? One thing uh, I was watching Ooh. podcasts on Locked on, on IGN was that they want to do acoustic sets in rock band. Like imagine like doing the whole Nirvana unplugged album in rock band. They're just that'd one person, cool, yeah. two people, vocals and guitar. That'd be awesome. So like my, my thing is that Harmonix has come out and said we're not gonna put out rock band five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on this generation. It's just rock band four, and then any other songs you want, just buy DLC. That's completely fair. Because they give you, like, what, like, a couple hundred songs on the disc, and then any other songs you want, just buy it. Yeah. That's fair. On top of that, all the songs you bought from the last generation come tra like, transferred over. So if you transfer over your Rock Band 1, 2, Green Day Rock Band songs onto Rock Band 3, all those come over plus all DLC. The things that don't work yet are the Rock Band 3 uh, disc songs, which are be, be figured out later. My one fear is that if Guitar Hero does come out, I'm going to buy this one for sure because I just love Guitar Hero. I don't want Guitar Hero 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Just one Guitar Hero yeah. and you release packs. Gonna happen. They're, they're not going to call it 7, 8, 9 because that seems like, you know, you're going ahead of yourself. They're going to call it something. You're going to end up selling like Mortal silly. Kombat. Or you're going like... to wind up selling uh, Guitar Hero, Punk Rock, Guitar Hero, uh, Classic Rock, Guitar Warriors Hero. Warriors of Punk. Like, Warriors of Rock was a good song. Like, they're going to call it some weird They're going to they're gonna like... give it a name, like a, a specific name. Yeah. And Richie just reminded me of something. Mortal Kombat. So that game comes out, I think, two weeks, give or take, and they announced all the guest characters. So two of them, Tremor and Liliana, I think, are old Mortal Kombat characters. And, all right, take a guess as to these next two characters. Take a guess. They're famous oh, movie characters. Famous movie characters? Yeah. Spider-Man. No. Can you give us a hint? Wait, wait, is it is it is it a is it a superhero from like a Har comic? One of them is a horror movie, and one of them is Freddy. Jason. Uh, Jason Voorhees and Freddy. No, oh. Jason Voorhees and Predator. No. Wait, it gets better. There's a skin for Jax that makes Car uh, that makes Jax look like a Carl Weathers from Predator. Are you serious? So the, people were bashing the whole like Jason Voorhees. Like what, first, like why have to pay for these characters shouldn't they be in the game? It sounds cool. People don't realize that the licensing fees for these characters are enormous. To get Predator yeah. and Jason, it probably costed a, a few Huge million. Huge amount. So like money. I'm fine. Like each pack costs like seven dollars, but you can get the season pass for thirty. I'm fine paying thirty bucks. On top of that, you're getting each character costs like three fifty, and the skins you get each pack costs like a dollar. So it adds up. Like it's fine. I'm fine with paying 30 bucks for all the for on top of that because like they're not ready yet. Yeah. Like the problem with us on Sam about this, free to play games like it's, I guess a, a segue. Free to play is a terrible name. It's free to start. Like Candy yeah. Crush, you get it's free to start. You get five lives, but then you either gotta pay to get lives. You gotta pay. It's it's free to start, and that's the problem with uh, Evolve, which is a big game. 
it had, I think, $100 worth of launch day DLC, which was ready before the game even came out, but they just waited to, you know, so they make money off it, and that's wrong. Mortal Kombat, they're doing it right. They're like, all right, these characters, they're going to be later on in the game. We're nowhere near them working on them, so if you buy it now, you know, you can get them when they come out. That's fair. If you come out and say they're not done, I'm fine with that, but you can't make content that's on the disc already locked away for a behind a paywall that's not right i'm already paying six the same thing with Assassin's Creed unity the game was finished but you had it but you can also buy weapons buy your way to that no do it right yeah like it, it, you're it, just you're you're feeding off yeah i don't like that if i'm paying 60 dollars for a game up front i don't want microtransactions yeah. i that's the last thing i want yeah you, you want to buy the game first. Exactly. And, and if, if I want to put my money into it, DLC is fine. I support DLC only when the DLC is fairly priced and when it's good. Yeah. And, and I will admit, there were some DLCs where I've hated. Like when I was a little kid, I made the mistake of buying the Modern Warfare uh, 2 and 3 map packs. Oh, more, mainly 2. Modern Warfare 2 map packs were the biggest waste of my money. You think I, so? I didn't. After I bought the map packs, I didn't go back to the game. Well, no way. Because there wasn't. I mean, no. Not all of them were horrible. Um. I forgot the zombie this. ones were good. Yeah, but zombie ones were good. For for, for Call of Duty for the World, for the Treyarch games, I'll let it go because they had the zombies mode, which added new things to the game. But in terms of multiplayer maps themselves, those yeah, should be free. Like, yeah. like I don't that, think because then you wind up everybody in the group picks that one, and then you're the only one who does. And the problem and is you can't. Play, like, leave Call of Duty must have made so much money off those DLCs. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Think about it. Like it's gone to the point where the only DLCs I bought in recent memory. Are the Dragon Ball Xenoverse DLC, which is I'm I'm just a sucker because I'm a fan. Even I feel like I got I got ripped off with that one, and the the Black Ops of uh, DLC map packs because I just love zombies. I, I was willing to pay the season pass just for zombies, and yeah, I got my money's worth. Yeah, I, I stopped playing Call of Duty and um, Black Ops. I've stopped. Playing, I, I retired from Call of Duty. Black Ops Two, I refuse to play. Black Ops Black Ops Two was good. Zombies. Black Ops Two multiplayer. Anything besides zombies and Black Ops Two is horrible. You know what else is horrible? What? Muhammad giving me these signal cues. <laughs> 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 I'm a Lincoln, Muhammad. I love yeah, you. Mo. Well, that was the, today's show. Next week, we are... Uh, oh, we still got to do our favorite Call of Duty show, which we put off for a while. This okay. was... I guess we'll just call this game time. This was game oh, I, time. I already know mine. I'm your uh, host, Crazy Carlos. This is Ratchet Richie, Sam the Man, and ah, our ah, ah, incompetent ah, ah, ah. booth man, Muhammad the Magnet. Mindful Mo. This has been Wake Up High Tech. <laughs> <laughs> we hope that you join us again. Have a nice day. Good night, everybody.